Hello everyone! Today we are taking pouring to the next level again and making a beautiful magnolia piece using fun techniques anyone can try. I'm so excited by how this one turned out. Let's get right into it. And by the way, you can find this piece and others for sale on my website, abcreativeofficial.com. I've been craving magnolias for quite some time. Usually when I walk, I take lots of pictures of all the plants I see and these were some purple ones, huge white ones, white and pink, and those white frilly ones. So I definitely, definitely have to try and recreate some of these beautiful blossoms today. I think the color palette is going to be pretty minimalist. Let's just start with this ultramarine blue. I think I'm going to use some of my rose, titanium white, and I found those two. They're my old Atessa Polina acrylics. I really like this color, but I don't think I've got, well, that's just a few drops. And here, rose pink. I might go well with a magnolia, don't you think so? Okay, so these are ready. I also thought I haven't used my chains for ages, and I really miss them. And I also want to make the magnolia on my silicone mat. I haven't done it this way, I've done the balloon presses here, but why not? We can try if the chain works. I haven't used the chains for such a long time that I forgot that we need a container with water. Because once you use the chain, you can't just drop it on the side because, you know, all the paint will get inside here. So I drop it always in water. I'm going to actually pour a back some background. Why do I want the background instead of just flowers on their own? Because I want a bit of blue in them. I want the background to be dark blue. So I'm going to spread the background first. Not too much paint, just thinly. Why? Because there will be white paint and the pink paint. Otherwise, I'll probably have to remove a lot with my pipette. All right, so now we'll shape the petal. Pink. Torch the air bubbles. Actually, there's no need because I'm going to use my chain. So I'm dragging the bubbles anyway. All right, that's a chunky petal. And I am putting it only on white. See, the bubble is gone. I haven't used the chain for ages. Yes. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Let me remove this. Where's my pipette here? And I'll decide what kind of shape do I want now. Oh, sometimes it's so annoying. It's easier just to use your finger, you know. Be very careful that there's no water in the pipette because then it will just flood your work. I want the petals to be a bit more curved now. So one will be one somewhere here. And I do like the pink touching white. It's a nice pink color. This one, I think I'm going to make it a bit narrower. Okay. Chain goes into my container and let but that's exactly what I meant. You know, when there's a tiny bit of water, it's quite annoying. Chains are so much fun. If you haven't tried, I strongly recommend. Now oh, let's try this. Pretty color. It's almost the end. I do love this color, so I think I have to order it. I'm trying to figure out how to do this part, and I am going to remove all that. It works so different on the silicone mat, you know? So this is going to be all cut out. I'm just going to use the flower only and all that will be gone. Well, hopefully, I don't know about you, but when I start and something actually works the way I want, I'm just getting all excited. I feel so creative now. Yes, creative usually around midnight. <laughs> now I am going to make some uh, half closed ones. I'm thinking I'll probably do two of these smaller. This is obviously the biggest one. 
so the second one I want something like this and these will be definitely overlapping much more than with the first one because the first one is mostly open so I think with this one we're only going to see the tip of it now there will be one somewhere here overlapping the more petals you make the sort of more confident you become might we do this one you know because I think I want it curved the other way around you can redo them as many times as you wish you know if you are not happy yes it's 7 to 12 I can still make a few I wonder what your favorite flower is the beauty with pouring you know when even with the chains is that whatever you do it's always different every single one will be different oh I didn't tell you this is going to be another one in the next level series with the flowers with poppies and tiger lilies dahlias and a rose and that's it okay couple of buds and we are done for today oops well i'll cut that out all right i think we've got the shape okay another one this one needs some white okay let's just drop it here and finish them off with a bit of white and I finished exactly last drop of my paint I can't believe it okay leave it to dry and good night everyone these blossoms were dry in the very morning so it wasn't even 10 hours it was much much shorter but when I looked at them now and how smooth they are and how thin they are I've decided to post a note to myself don't ever pour anything on silicon that's so thin so make sure it's much thicker why because now I have to just cut around them and be super careful while peeling them off so I'm going to spend some time just peeling it off and making sure nothing breaks Just doing it slowly as you can see um, on the other hand they're incredibly smooth and pleasant to touch there's no point me rushing now don't want anything broken so as you can imagine i'll just spend probably like 10 15 minutes peeling them off and then i'll be back now very quickly i'm just cutting off the blue the background that I don't want. Wow! <gasps> That's gorgeous. That's an iris, you know? I've got an iris, look. So pretty. But let's just go with the magnolia first. I've got another one of those lovely box canvases really thick and it's 50 by 20 centimeters so what about the colors i want the colors that will be matching the magnolias i've got this leftover ultramarine so this is the ultramarine that the background for the magnolias so i am using a bit of this i also mixed some of the ultramarine with prussian blue that's a much darker blue you see that so i created this so half and half. I also have pale glacier blue. That's a nice, very light blue color. And this is a metallic paint. And I have some leftover blue mix, but predominantly this was the brilliant blue by Cassart, this one. And I have phthalo green with white in it. If you're not familiar with my videos, you don't know what I use in my mixes. As one part of paint to one part of my pouring medium which is half and half PVE in blue and then one part of Floetrol. If it's still too thick I spray some water and this is the consistency so you can see it's uninterrupted stream really nicely flows down and then a small build up. So I forgot to tell you of course titanium white for swiping so I've checked all my paints, they, it's very important that they've got the same consistency. 
Uh, which colour first? I'll go with this lightest blue. I'm leaving some space for the white. This blue. Now the second lightest. And you probably know I, I can't stand when my paint drips, so I'm just carefully touching the edges. Hey, a bit more of this lighter one. And the green. I always like leaving just a little bit of paint left in case I need to add something. So that's probably more than enough of the green. Okay, I don't mind actually having quite a lot of this dark blue. Drop of this darker blue. A couple of places. And pink. Um, well, we may not even see that pink, but maybe. Maybe it's going to pop somewhere. I am adding two drops of Dimethica to my white silicone product create some cells. This is the one I like, but there are so many silicone products that are good. I like this one and it smells so nice. It's coconut hair serum, not coconut oil. So I added two drops and I'm mixing well. Let me add the white just to the top. Drizzle tiny bit. And to swipe I am going to use a paper towel. You can use plastic sheets, you can use some uh, big uh, spatulas perhaps even. I like my paper towel. So this is a regular paper towel, nothing special. And now I'm going to spray it with water. This is really important because you want the towel to really adhere to your paint. Just making it moist. I don't want tons of water. Okay, now I'm going to touch it ever so gently, just touching the white, nothing else. And very lightly drag it. This is seriously pretty. Well, as nothing dripped, just those two, I am using the paint, the leftover paint, to do the edges. And that's what I like. I just like painting them. I just have to show you some close-ups before I go. This is some insane lacing. Oh, I found some pink. Isn't that pretty? I think I would love a dress like this. And it goes all down, all the way down to the very edge. The background is dry and it's awesome. I love it. Now decisions where shall we put the flowers to make a nice arrangement. I think I want the, this one at the bottom somewhere against the darker background. There'll be some thicker branch coming here and then smaller ones just going up to the top. I think I'm going to use white paint at the bottom to stick it down to make it kind of a bit lighter. Ready for the paint and as usual once I stick one down I'm going to wipe the excess off. Ah, put too much here. Okay but it's stuck really well. I'm going to repeat it quickly with these. this stage I'm trying to figure out how I want my branches to grow and magnolia trees have got quite unusual branches they're very gnarly they are like they've got lots of like little lumps and bumps first of all I thought I can paint it straight away I, I might use a chain even but I thought I would rather sketch it first and because I didn't want to use pencil I wouldn't see much here I found some soft pastel I thought I might use chalk as well and just try to sketch how I want those particular elements to go together.
and I think I'm going to use a chain actually that will give us sort of a smooth movement you know the brush works very different this kind of strokes but with the chain I can jerk it anywhere I want I'm wiping this off and oh I didn't tell you I've decided just to add the leaves and the branches in black I think there's so much color here that if I started brown and greenish I'll take away from the beautiful colors here so that's the chain and I might go over these will be just some quick let's call it sketching I'm sketching with the chain sketching with the chain see how that goes might be fixing it later as I said this is just a quick sketch when you have a poured background it's so easy to change stuff you can wipe it off you can fix it many times it's good that there are those like lumpy bits uh, on those branches because it's perfect for the chain because wherever I touch it we've got this thicker part I really like it it kind of looks Japanese well forgive me if you think it doesn't but kind of looks to me it's easier when you have wet background to drag the chain but on the other hand it's so much easier if you want to change stuff now if the background was wet that would be it you know wouldn't be able to do anything about it some tiny buds at the end some places to make it more interesting there might be some kind of leaf growing once the blossoms open some of them have those I wonder what you think so far. I do hope you like it. I'm just going to add some shadows around the blossoms. This is black with just water. I was just about to sign it, but then I thought maybe I'll add just the last touch as I usually like this little Finishing touches with a bit of brown, you know, in some places. A couple of highlights. Oh, by the way, the sides look similar to the rest, from lighter to darker. Oh, by the way, you know, when you use silicone in your paint, you do have to clean it if you are going to varnish your piece. So uh, you can use isopropyl alcohol, you can wipe it. I actually used soapy sponge. And I just cleaned it thoroughly and then rinsed it. And of course you have to wait for the painting to be dry before you varnish it. Well, there we are. Every time I add a piece to the Next Level series, I have a problem figuring out which one is my favorite. But let me know in the comments which one you like most. I'm pretty shocked by the lacing on this one. I think it's the best lacing I've ever gotten. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget you can find this piece for sale, among many others, on my website, abcreativeofficial.com. If this is your first time watching, consider subscribing because I have a new video premiering every Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.